loves what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new my name is Christina and I post videos on motherhood and lifestyle and today I'm going to be showing you guys my Aldi's grocery haul I'm a mom on a budget with a family of three and I wanted to get some items for around two to three weeks so I want to show you guys all the great things that I got on a deal from Aldi's so if you're interested please continue to watch to the end okay guys so I'm going to start with all the different poultry and meats I was able to get, I think at a really good price. I usually don't get a lot of poultry and meat from Aldi's, but I wanted to make this my only grocery haul for the next like two to three weeks. So I decided to go for it. So I was able to get this chicken thighs family pack and it was only $4.90 and it has a good amount. So I was able to get two packs of it because we love chicken in this house and chicken thighs, you can marinate them like any way and they're really easy to cook in the oven or on the grill. We also were able to get these Italian style mild meatballs. You can make them in a sauce or you could even make like meatball subs. I was also able to get some turkey bacon for breakfast as well as if I wanted to make like a BLT for lunch. And I also was able to find this small pack of Atlantic salmon that's already flavored Mediterranean style. So I thought that would be really good. And then I was able to get some chicken breasts. I love chicken breasts. I usually get the thin cut ones, but they don't have that or I didn't see that when I went. And I got a regular pack, which was $6.82. And then I also got a family pack. So what I do with this is if I want to make them thin, I just slice them up and then I like put them in freezer bags and separate them. But I thought that was a pretty good deal. This pack was $7.54 and this pack was $6.82. And then I also got the sweet Italian sausage, which I think is really good if I'm doing like a barbecue or if I wanna make like sausage and pepper. Really good for dinner in a pinch and it was only 363. And then I also got these cooked in a shell shrimp that's already divined and the tail off. So these are really easy if you wanna do like a shrimp and pasta or shrimp tacos. I got two of those. And that is the all the poultry and the meat that I got. Cause I do still have like a lot stocked up from quarantine. So this is what I'll be using for like dinner and lunch. And I think it wasn't that bad of choice. Okay, so as you guys can see, I did go a little crazy with buying stuff only because like I said, this was the only store I was gonna go to for the next like two or three weeks. So I wanted to just get some essentials of things that I don't already have stocked up. I try to separate them as best as I can. So let me just go through each item and tell you what I got. So in my produce area, I was able to get this watermelon because my baby just loves fruit. So I always make sure to stock up on fruits. I got two cantaloupe. Yeah, so I got these three avocados. They were only 65 cents each. I got these organic peaches. I got two packs of them because my daughter loves peaches. I also was able to get this pack of pears because we love pears in this house. And then I also got some organic peppers because I'm always putting peppers whenever I make like chickens and steaks. I got two vines of bananas because we eat bananas on the regular here. And I got a pack of strawberry. I also got like three different bags of shredded cheese, Colby Jack, Mount Cheddar, and Mexican style for taco night. I got three packs of eggs because we love eggs here. We, my husband eats eggs every day. And I got a lot of different cheeses and dairy. So I got some ricotta cheese because we're always making like pasta. And if I wanted to do like a stuffed like crescent roll or something, I got some goat cheese that we eat with like our salads as well as some eggs. And then I got some cheese slices. I got some Swiss and some Colby Jack cheese, as well as some singles. And I got some mood slice mozzarella if I wanted to have like with some tomatoes and balsamic just to keep it healthy. I also was able to get a pack of the non-fat Greek yogurt. I love their Friendly Farms Greek yogurt. And I also got the sour cream in the light version. And I was super excited to find this because I never saw it. And that is the Everything Bagel Hummus. So I'm excited to try that out. What else? And then I wanna move on to the bread. So you guys may think I'm crazy. We buy a lot of bread. I get breads in bulk and then I freeze them for later. My husband loves raisin cinnamon bread. So 
the swirl ones from Love and Fresh. And these are like, if you guys do Weight Watchers, which I do, these aren't that bad if you have like one or two slices for breakfast. They're only 80 calories a slice, so not that bad. So I got two packs of those. And then for myself, I got these whole wheat sliced breads. I get, I always get two packs because I just go through those. I have them every morning with some peanut butter and banana, or if I wanted to do something light like a sugar-free jam, or just with some butter. I get, two, I got two packs of those, as you guys can see. I also love Aldi's brioche breads. And these I got for like, if I do like some burgers or some sliders, I have a lot of like ground beef and ground turkey around. So I'll do that. Or if I do like an egg salad or a tuna, they taste delicious on some little slider brioche bread. So I always try to get those. They also have them in like a hot dog version as well as a hamburger version, but I couldn't find it. And then I also got these hamburger buns and I got some hot dog buns as well because it's still grilling season and we're, we try to grill as much as we can on the weekends to just save me from cooking and then for tonight i'm actually making some shredded steak and i'm gonna put it on this garlic bread parmesan romano and i think it'll be delicious with some like cheese on top so i got that it's my first time trying this so if you guys have ever tried it let me know if you like it or not and then i also always get some um, Nan flatbreads. I like these for like, if I wanted to make like a healthy, as you can see, look, they have like the roasted chicken arugula panini, or if I wanted to do like a little pizza for the baby or for myself, I always end up getting these. Or if I wanted to have like some bread with some olive oil and balsamic, like I always get these. So these are always great to have. These are really handy because I always like having side options because I just like making sure we're full. So they're good for like breakfast and for dinner. So I got two packs of those. And then moving on to, I also, hold on before moving on, I also was able to get some little blueberry muffins from their bake shop because sometimes when I'm having coffee and like I just wanna have something light, I could just have like muffin. And then I also got some croissants from my husband cause he loved those too. And then I forgot to add that I also got some easy peel mandarins for my daughter because I just try to give her a lot of fruit. She loves fruit. So I only got one pack of some organic baby spinach and arugula. I already had a lot of salad inside, but I usually end up getting like two packs of these because I just love arugula and baby spinach. They're my favorite. And then I also was able to get two packs of this sweet corn. This corn is absolutely delicious. It's a really easy side to have with any meal. And if you want to throw it on the grill as well, especially if you like have guests. I also got two cans of the chili mild beans. The Dakota brand, we really like those here. I'm going to be making chili this week, so I got two cans of these. I also just got a random pack of some farfalle pasta because I always have some different sauces and I thought this would be really good with that chicken sausage and some sauce or some Alfredo sauce. So that would be a good meal. I also got some guacamole. I get the classic style for my daughter cause she loves guacamole and I get the home style for us. And then for breakfast, I also got some protein oat pancake mix. I really like this mix for my husband and I. I don't give it to my daughter cause it has a lot of sodium, but I love this for breakfast on the weekend when we do pancakes. I also was able to get an unsweetened applesauce because I love doing overnight oats with this. Sometimes I give it to the baby as well. Um, it does have a little bit of sugar even though it says unsweetened, but it's absolutely delicious. And then guys, we are such chip heads in this house, so I got a lot of different chips. I got these white bean chips, which are absolutely delicious as well, and they're not that many calories. And then my husband loves the Clancy brand chips, the sour cream and onions, his favorite. So I was able to get one of these and I got a barbecue flavor because I love the barbecue one as well. And then I love with the guacamole, these blue corn tortilla chips. So we got two packs of that. I also got some medium chunky salsa to go along with those chips, as well as I got with that theme some taco shells because we are big taco heads in this house and we do tacos at least once a week, whether for lunch or for dinner. And I got two packs of those, as you guys can see. And then 
And then to go with the chickens that I got, I try to switch things up. I got these cool sauces that I never got before. Yeah, so I try to get these cool sauces to go with like the chickens and the steak. So this one is a sweet and sour Asian sauce that I'm super excited to try. Let me know if you guys have this at your Aldi's and if you like it or not because I'm such, we love switching up like the sauces and the marinades because regular seasoning can just get so boring. We also got this, which I'm super excited to try because we haven't really had Chinese food in a while i only really eat thai near my house i haven't found a good chinese food restaurant so i'm excited for that and then we also got this tikka masala simmer sauce so i'm pretty excited about that my husband loves tikka masala sauce chicken so i'll be trying that one day this week just to switch things up guys so if you're ever trying to switch things up just get like a new sauce try a new recipe and yeah so i was also able to get which i always try to get for like a lunch during the week is their take and bake mama cozy's pizzas so this one's the veggie delight pizza which i've never tried but i love veggie pizza and it is absolutely delicious so if you guys are ever looking for a quick lunch in a pinch definitely try one of those i also am trying these tomato and basil brown rice crackers which i never had as well and i'm gonna try that with the sliced cheeses as a healthy snack for these things i also got like a vegetable oil for frying these are some things that I never tried. So for the first time, I saw these caramel cappuccino K-Cups, which I'm super excited about because I we love coffee in this house and I never seen this at Aldi's. And I think they were only like $2.79 each. So I got two of the caramels and then I got this French vanilla one as well. So I am i can't wait to try those out. And then of course I have like a huge sweet tooth. So I'm going to try these soft baked chocolate chip cookies. And then I also got this Friendly Farms Mocha Ice Coffee, which we never tried as well, so I'm excited to try that too. Yeah, so I never saw this, and look, it comes with like the little pitcher, which is so cute, and you can make your own funnel cake, and since like we're not able to go to any like festivals or carnivals, I think this is so cool. It says all you really need is like cooking oil, and some mix so should be easy to make and some and some powdered sugar so i'm really excited to try that and then lastly guys i we also got two packs of salsers we drink salsers here every day so we really like this one it's my first time trying the lime one and the grapefruit one is really good and salsers are really um good to have they're refreshing if you don't like a lot of water and you know if you want to add it to like a juice or something so we always make sure to have that so that's it guys, so all this stuff and all the meat is what I got. So I hope you guys are able to get your shopping done at Aldi's. It's just so affordable and I'm able, I was able to get all this stuff and it may sound like a lot because like I said, I shopped for like two, three weeks, but I was able to get all this stuff for like 200 bucks and I do live in New York, so that may seem expensive for some people, but for me, I know my other supermarkets, I would have paid like close to like 300 bucks. So I'm happy with all the things I got at Aldi. So I can't wait to do another grocery haul with you guys because this is my first time doing one with you guys. And I hope you guys like watching what I got and you are able to go shopping at Aldi soon as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my Aldi's grocery haul. Like I said earlier, I'm a mom on a budget and I love all the items that I was able to get for my family of three. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can find out when my next video comes out. If you like seeing videos like this for me, please make sure to leave it in the comments and I hope you guys are doing well. You're staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.